every service member has a role in improving warfighter brain health. While recognizing potentially concussive events and referring affected service members for appropriate medical evaluation may seem the most important, reporting involvement in potentially concussive events and ensuring rest and recovery recommendations are adhered to are equally crucial. Since those in leadership positions have an extra responsibility to ensure and promote warfighter brain health among their service members, let's explore the steps they should follow. The first is to recognize potentially concussive events and possible symptoms. This includes understanding that every concussion is different and not all service members will experience the same symptoms. Next is to ensure that service members receive the appropriate medical evaluation where the MACE-2 is completed. After that, in a deployed setting, they should report all service members involved in a potentially concussive event and ensure a mandatory 24 hours rest is executed, regardless of diagnosis. In a non-deployed setting, they should verify that all service members diagnosed with concussion receive and complete 24 hours of rest. Once the provider instructs the service member to start the PRA protocol, leadership can then help ensure adherence to it and assist the medical team when making the return to duty determination. 